Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is me Daniel Amar and today inshallah I will be uh, I will be giving you information about Uzbek alphabet. So they are not so much difficult because Uzbek alphabet is Latin alphabet. Please make sure you subscribe this channel and press the like button. So here you can see the alphabet on your screen. So I'm going to tell them one by one. Okay. Uh, the first sound is with the first letter is A. Ah, A. Ah. So according to Uzbek alphabet, one letter is one sound. A. Ah, it is not is it is not like English. We don't say A B C. We say A B D E. Just like that. One letter is one sound. The first letter is A. Ah. A. Ah. The the second one is B. B. D. D, they're easy. A, it is not E, it is A. A. Uh, F, F, G, G, H, H, it is soft H, H, H. The next one is E, E, it is not I, it is E. If I need to give you an example in English, the example will be the word incredible. Incredible. The first sound is E. E. The next one is J. J. Sometimes J. J or J. But most of time we say J. J. Sometimes J. We use, we say J. Uh, for the words which are taken from Russian, for example, for example, journal, journal. We don't say journal, we say journal. The next one is k, k, l, l, m. They are easy. M, n, n. Okay, a. This one is very hard because it is not O, because according to uh, English alphabet it is O, O, but in Uzbek it is A, A, it is not O. But uh, let me give you an example uh, from Arabic and Persian alphabet. Uh, so Alif is equals this letter, Alif, the first, the first letter is equals this. So Alif sometimes equals A, uh, which is the first letter, and sometimes equals A, A, but but it is not O. K, K, it is it is not K, it is K, K. And I will try to type Arabic and Persian letters as well on your screen somewhere. R, R, it's easy. Uh, s, s. We don't say s. We say s. T, t. U, u. It is not u. It is u. Uh, v, v. Sometimes w, w or v. It is equals to v and sometimes w, v or w. It, it is up to you. It is up to you. If you want to say V or if you want to say W, it's okay. It's up to you. Kh, kh, kh. Uh, this letter is hard H. Kh. So you can see the Arabic and Persian uh, letters on your screen so you can know this letter. The next one is Ye. Ye. Z, Z, for zebra. O, so this is O. This is O letter. So I think it is, uh, it is not a hard letter to pronounce because you already know this letter. But don't confuse this letter with A. It is not O. This, this one is not O. Uh, o, this is A, but this letter is O, O. 
R. R. It is not G. It is R. So uh, you can see the Arabic and Persian letters as well. Sh. Uh, Sh. So you can see that two letters are staying together. So those two letters uh, are actually only one sound, which is sh. Sh. They are all together. If you separate them, uh, there will be another letter. Uh, one of them will be s, and one of them will be h. But if you put them together, they will be sh. Uh, sh. There will be only one sound. Sh. The next one is ch. Ch. The same thing. The same thing. So two letters are together, and uh, this is only one sound, which is ch. Ch. Nye. Nye. Uh, it seems like hard, but it's not hard because you just adding, you just uh, you just adding ne to ge. Uh, this is the combination of ne and ge. It is not hard. The next one is apostrophe. Uh, we call it tutuk bilgise. Thank you for watching my video. Please make sure you subscribe this channel. And if you if you had got little bit information from my video, pre, uh, please press the like button and uh, subscribe. Thank you so much. Khair sabolin.